Do not wait until the conditions are perfect to so begin. Begin now. Good morning and welcome to Talk Sports on Global Television. This is from Nigeria's capital, Abuja, on Star Times, Channel 276. It's the mayor of sports, Fidelis, and your governor is my name. And uh, you're welcome beautifully to Talk Sports this morning. Our talk angles will be looking at our 22-month-old baby walking the path of Messi already. And we'll be looking at uh, the football body taking the very big one, the very big armor, and taking action against uh, Jose Moreno. From Jose Moreno, we'll be looking at Danny Alves, who has been in detention since January this year. And from there, we'll look at the big winners yesterday. We'll talk about them uh, in the course of a uh, news uh, package. And uh, Bend the insurance after for three years, emerging and winners of the Federation Cup, as well as Bayesa Queens. We'll look at these and some uh, transfer speculations making rounds. When we return back from this quick and brief time out, stay jiggy. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Talk Sports, and uh, you've already known the angles we're talking sports from. And I'm not alone in the studio today. I have someone with me. You'll be expecting maybe the familiar face, but this time around, they've said what a man can do. A woman would definitely do better. I have a lady in the house with me. Good morning and welcome to the show. Good morning, KKZ. It's nice being here with you. All right, uh, and this is uh, Miss. Uh, Theresa, she is with us to talk sport this morning. We're starting off with a quick one and the first one. Let's take a, a quick look at this young man briefly. But when we turn back, we start from there. I believe Theresa is ready. Let's go there. All right, this young man, uh, this little boy, this little champ is a star boy in the making already. Noticed by his mother when he started using his walker, like you saw uh, earlier on with one of the clips. This young man is no other, but uh, the one, the only Tobena. Tobena is just 22 months old at the moment and is already uh, kicking the football like a professional ball control running with it the energy and even taking shots it's a big one and uh, we move from this to Bina. can we not discuss this miss theresa looking at this young man uh, every mother will be happy yes. saying yeah what do you have to say about yeah, this is actually a very good development in the sense that his mom was able to pick it and notice it and to like get him the needed trainings because from what i could see in the clip can see that they're already split training, teaching him how to do this and all of that. It's a right step in the right direction for the mom and for the young lad. And like the Bible says, I don't want to sound too churchy, but train up a child in the way he, he should, should go. go. Yes. So with the mom doing this, noticing this, it shows that she paid attention to like his growth, to his development. For her to be able to pick this at this stage, this boy is not even up to two years. And she has been able to notice this. 
I feel the young man will excel. We should be looking out for him in under 16 and all this. <laughs> it's not that. up to two years. It's not already say, we should and the part, he was his own a style of celebration. The father is really doing a good one. Yes. A very good one. And for a father to be able to notice, the mother noticed, the father was not based with them at the time the mother noticed this. He had to quit everything he was doing to return back to base and to groom this young man. It would take tolerance. It will take patience, yes. it will take determination, determination because kids, yes. sometimes when you tell them, go right, they are going left. <laughs> this young man, instead of kicking the ball, uh, he may decide to carry the ball with his hands. And that means, if you look at this now, he even said something. I met his mom, Patrice, at the 2018 World Cup and I saw the Ahmed Musa uh, brace against Iceland and saw how proud it will be for a parent watching their child in a moment like yeah. this. And I envisioned it for myself, or be said. And as a Chelsea fan, we had this baby shower on the day Chelsea won the Champions League. You can see that. Wow. It's already, you already said you yes. said you are not going to St. Uh Somehow, it's already been ordained. Uh, destiny is just taking place. Yeah. You can, this is his game, no doubt. And naming him Starboy, he came on the 16th of July. Uh, I'm proud. Oh, I'm a July born. Uh, <laughs> the same day Whiskey was born. And uh, Whiskey is Starboy. The same day Whiskey was born, and I said it couldn't be a coincidence. It's a double star. So I called him Starboy. I love and do anything to get Osime and Tobena to have a kick around. So maybe sometime in the future when he sees the picture or video, he can know he spent time with the greatest African striker of all time and inspire him to be a better player. Yeah. This is the father saying this and this is what any father should yes. do. Discovering your own son at a very tender age and making him to already be running with the ball and doing well. And then giving him the needed training and the needed support. In this really part of impressive. the world, we are still buttressing on Tobina. In this part of the world, these days, if it's not uh, medicine, yeah, if it's doctor. not uh, no, uh, nursing, if yeah. it's not pharmacy, just a law, they don't consider uh, mass communication. football a profession. But football is really it a actually pays, As a very lucrative and it actually pays well. Sometimes, like by the time you hear the earnings of some top football players you'll be like they earn in pounds they earn in euros and if you they're looking at the co conversion rate but we convert yeah. uh, somebody who earns just a little a few pounds uh, uh, in thousands why when we convert it rate it gets into what millions do That's you see your child playing football in the nearest future if i can pick this same thing like this prince able, the prince able to pick i would definitely encourage my child to do that aside the financial benefit and all of that if I see a child that is willing to, that wants to do that, because you can't decide, a child should be able to make his choice. You can't, you can only um, help, guide, yes. advise, do this. But if I see a child that has this skill or this talent and he has started showing it from small, it's to encourage the child. Although our parents, I feel maybe because of the generation where we fall under, we are now more open-minded to these things. But if you look at uh, parent generation, yeah, previous generation, <laughs> okay. they'll say, no, you must be a doctor, you must be a lawyer. Okay, the Gen Z, the, the Gen Z, the Gen oh, Z right, the Gen yeah. Z generation. And uh, this young man has been featured on sports channels like the Sports Network Show in Canada, ESPN in the United States wow. of America, ESPN UK, and many others. Tobina was born on the 16th of July, 2021, in America. He has a project that is ongoing, the project... Tobena officially kicking off uh, uh, in February 2022 and Obi, the father, hopes that his son can become a professional a footballer when he grows up. Compare him with anything you choose, whether you contrast, you compare, it doesn't matter. What matters is that one thing is certain, Tobena has one mission in life and that's to be a footballer, to play football. Not all heroes wear capes and not all heroes have to be uh, grown-ups. We have one in the person of uh, Tobena. The young man has been excellent and best and has been exciting. Uh, so far, we watch out for what happens next. Is he going to get uh, uh, to kick the ball with Osime like his father dreams of? We'll watch out for that. We will get back to Tobena at the later part of this show. We move to the very next one, and it's the big one. We saw this coming. 
uh, uh, the aftermath of uh, the Uf Europa uh, um, League tournament, the final between Sevilla and Roma, it wasn't what people expected. Also, Moreno bursting up in, in flames. He was fuming. It was really, really, it went wide. It went uh, uh, crazy that very day. And the UEFA has not taken uh, action against the former Chelsea boss, Jose Moreno, following the verbal attack on English referee Anthony uh, Taylor. Jose Moreno having to wait for this man at the car park uh, the, after the final uh, and labeling the English referee a disgrace. Jose has not been banned for Roman's next for European uh, games. By UEFA, the special one reserved the ban in next season's Europa League uh, group stage. The ban is double the minimum two game ban required by UEFA disciplinary rules. For the UEFA to go beyond their two uh, 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 ban, two games uh, they will give to a coach or a player, maybe ban. Now they've gone further than that and they've slammed the four match ban on Jose Moreno. It's a big one. The Italian club has also received a knock from the football body as Roma has been fined 50,000 euros with restrictions put in place to stop the Italian heavyweight club from selling tickets for its next away game in the Europa League. Wow. According to UEFA, the charges include lighting of fireworks, throwing of objects, acts of damage and crowd disturbances. Roma must not contact the Hungarian Football Federation to settle damages caused by his fans at the Puskas Arena in Budapest. Wow. Jose Moreno, uh, we know over the years he has been uh, controversial. A lot goes on with this man. Yeah. As a coach, do you think this is the right thing to have done? Uh, he, he, and this was his first Europe, uh, European uh, final that he, he lost. And confronting the officials, Sometimes right games point. don't go the way we plan. It's a game. There must be a winner and a loser. And I feel where he faulted is how he took it in a bad fit by and now approaching. Because there's a way you can grumble and then show your displeasure, but not being confrontational, attacking the person verbally and saying things. And now look at the band that has been put on him and even the team, like the fine they have to pay. So all of it's that. Not, it's not a it's, good uh, yeah, it's call. Yeah, not good uh, for his reputation. For his reputation. Yes. But that has been also Moreno from... Uh, he's a good coach, no doubt. He's a good coach, not just in the various leagues. He has uh, found himself in European tournament. He has been very, very excellent. But when it comes to controversies, Jose Moreno is also doing well when it comes to controversies. <laughs> and I don't, I, he, he went as far as throwing away his murder because of this uh, old uh, drama. We are discussing Jose Moreno this morning, and we'll discuss Tobina a little bit. We still have Daniel Alves coming up next, and we'll continue from there when we return from this quick timeout. Welcome back to Talk Sports from Tobina to Ose Moreno and now Danny Aves. January 20th, to date, this young man has been in detention and it has not been funny. Throughout these months, in between when he was arrested until now, he has not said anything regarding his arrest. We already know that this young man was slammed and accused of. Uh, uh, assaulting 
a lady in Barcelona. Now, having been uh, arrested and detained, we have seen this woman trying to hold up for his family's sake, for his uh, personality, until coming out now to say something about this. Daniel Alves is not, uh, not finding it funny right now because he, has asked, he is forced to say, uh, since he was taken into court study on 20th uh, January 2023, while he was trying to attend his mother-in-law's funeral. Now the decorated player has come out in a heart rendering manner to talk about what transpired in an exclusive, and that's it. I don't know if she has a clear conscience or if she sleeps well at night. This is Daniel Alves' uh, at boss now, in a very sad uh, way, trying to address this issue. Uh, if the lady sleeps well at night, but I forgive her. I appeal to her conscience. There hasn't been a single night that I have slept peacefully, not a single night. I have a clear conscience. I have never armed anyone voluntarily, and neither did I alter that night. That day, when the women came out of the bathroom behind me, after we had, you know, I stayed by my table for a while. I wasn't there for long because it was late. I was with my friend Bruno and other people approached me before I left. When I leave uh, the nightclub through the exit door, I know from the CCTV images that I passed near where the woman, oh, the woman was crying. I didn't see her. If I had seen her cry, I would have stopped to ask her what was happening. If someone in charge of the nightclub had asked me to wait because a young woman claimed that I had uh, assaulted her, I would not have gone home. That same night, I would have showed up at the police station to clarify what has happened. This is Danny Alves coming out to say what is going on. I have been bearing this and I can no longer take this. Now, Ms. Teresa, this has become a very uh, common in the world of uh, sports, whether football or all around. We see these uh, players uh, uh, getting uh, accused, accusations, Mendy of Manchester City landed in such a case, M uh, Mason, uh, Greenwood, Greenwood of Mason, Manchester yes. United, same thing happened. Uh, if it's not the issue of assault, it's either the issue of divorce. Do you feel these players have been targeted, considering what Danny Aves has said now? He has never said anything prior to, prior to now, but he has come out to say Well, something. we can use um, what happened to Mr. A, to judge what's happening now but like he said like the question he asked i feel that maybe these players are being targeted because of their earnings maybe so they don't come and snatch from the national cake in quotes but then since you know you are being targeted your the way you live your life the way you you should always have an alibi someone that can say okay i know this person was here at this he so bruno he mentioned his friend bruno so why would the police still keep him in detention or why would they still holding because and i also want to know what measures are these people putting because by the time investigations go, go on and you find that this person is not guilty what do you do do you just release the person because i really like is that already a dent on his image very big one a very big dent on his image and most club will not want to like work with this person if you have that kind of um, antecedents following you okay i've been accused of sexual abuse so after your person has been cleared what do they put in place to clear the person's image the person has been clear okay he wasn't found guilty so what then is put in place are these women asked to pay fine aside the fine are they asked to come out and give out like a public apology or something because like the um, examples you made a lot of people that have done this and by the time investigations are gone underway and everything you find out that this person is not guilty but then it's like as if the case is just swept under the carpet i'm not saying that footballers don't do this yes i'm not justifying yes. that they don't do this but like from what he has said now, if he has an alibi and it has not been proven yet, they should. There's a way they would not like blow out yeah, the so like investigating. Investigating, okay. yes. All right. Uh, talking about this young man since 20th January that he has been there and it has been ongoing till now. He never said anything until uh, Maker uh, Navarro interviewed him and he has now come out to say this. And why he was quizzed further, the journalist, why asking him, what do you have to say? Do you owe anybody apology? The only person uh, Aves decided to apologize to was the wife, saying he's sorry for everything that is ongoing. And the wife uh, in the recent past has said something on this, though she's threatening to divorce 
uh, the football star. Uh, the, the, the woman ended up coming out to say, uh, anyhow it is, uh, I, I believe my husband is innocent. She's still standing wow. on the fact that the husband is innocent, despite saying, I want to uh, divorce, I'm seeking uh, or filing for, well, for divorce. Well, since, since the case has, I believe the case is in court. It's still in court. It's still in court. I believe the so next year is since, in, since it's, it's still in court, October, we can't year. use what the wife is saying. What the court wants is admission of facts. You said he, re he sexually assaulted you. Bring what you have. Let there be a proof. So we can't use, oh, the wife is saying, I trust him. Bruno is saying he's there and all of that. I'm not saying, I'm not trying to be a judge on this case. I'm not trying to be a judge on this case. I'm saying that since he's still in court, we should let the court decide. All right. We await the next hearing come October. Between October and November this year, we'll watch out for what happens. Now, quickly, before we begin to wrap up, uh, we saw uh, Bender Insurance and uh, uh, Rangers of Enugu uh, dwelling it out on the field of play yesterday. And somehow, Bender Insurance, after for three years, were able to upset a 10 man Rangers to lift uh, the title. And in the same vein, we also saw uh, the Bayesa Queens defeating their own opponents too and cutting away with the huge sum of 10 million era. And uh, quickly, the, 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 the uh, uh, players of the Bender Insurance, they surpassed uh, the biblical Israelite record of 40 years in the wilderness. Bender Insurance uh, Football Club of Benin, in their own wilderness of Federation Cup uh, trophy draft, found a Moses in the person of Imade Osai and Hoy to lead them to the promised land uh, after for three years. A spot kick from inside uh, uh, the, the final uh, play, we saw uh, them moving from uh, that to any and getting their first trophy after 43 years. In same vein, we saw these uh, wonderful uh, clip you are seeing now these guys uh, the, the the ladies rather they were jubilating uh, on their way going and the jubilation continued as they were able to get uh, the much needed victory on penalties after playing a goalless draw and they were able to win four goals to two a big one for bender insurance and a big one for Baesa queens and we could see the deputy governor of Edo state celebrating with the insurance boys as well as uh, these people here now uh the biosa queens celebrating with their owners as well in the world of sport this money we have a lot to uh, discuss but you know time is not always always our friend we stand off with speculations uh ruben neves uh Kante, D. Maria, we are seeing these guys, and then, then Kai Avas already making their moves. Gondogan, all of these guys are making waves and they are making the switch from one league to the other and across board. In the world of sport this morning, my name is Fidelis in your governor. It has been an awesome, awesome time. Be big time, beautiful time with uh, you in the studio, Miss Tessie. Thank Tessi. you so much. Thank I recall you. it a wrap. Do not forget, we'll be right here with you again tomorrow. For now, stay jiggy, stay woke, peace out.